Okay, guys, uh, this is unwrapping uh, part. So first thing we want to unwrap is uh, a bark. So you click on the bark, click Shift H to isolate it. So basically everything will be hidden except of the bark and uh, go to UV editing. Okay, uh, so the bark is basically the shape of uh, a pipe and uh, the pipe is very easy to unwrap. So um, select one edge, doesn't matter which one. Uh, I mean, the, I don't know how, how it is called, but I will call it edge line because I don't know how to say it. So doesn't matter which one and just click Ctrl E to mark it as a seam. So basically, if you scroll up and you unwrap it, so cl click U, unwrap, you can see that, uh, yeah, we, we unwrap it on on the texture, which is, there's no texture for now, but we will make one. And uh, as you can see, the bark takes only the left half of, of the texture and the right one, right part, is basically empty and we don't want that because uh, when something is empty it means that it's a waste wasted spa space so we will do one trick uh, but first uh, go to the right here to enter the display you have uh, advanced label and <laughs> click on stretch and basically you will see uh, how uh, how well, we unwrap the, the bark. You can scroll pan to the right by pressing the middle mouse. Yeah, you want to use the most space on the texture because it's better. <laughs> you will have more, more pixels to draw on. So now we have to think a bit. Uh, we, we know that the top part of the bark will, will not be visible and the bottom will be visible. So we can make the bark to be bigger here on the texture and the top be smaller. So just select around here the edge loop, press Ctrl E to mark a seam and now we can unwrap it again. So click A to select all, you unwrap. So uh, now you can see that we have a top part, this is top part. And this is a bark. Okay, so we want the bark to be really big. So click L to select this island. Well, we call it island. Click S to scale it up like in 3D viewport. So we want it to be as big as, uh, yeah. Uh, to, we want it to be big, just big. And uh, to fit into the texture borders okay so now uh, alt a a to deselect it and select the top part scale it down rotate it and put it around here this is okay so basically we'll have more texture on, on the bark more pixels that we will we can use for our, our advantage Okay, so uh, the bark is basically done. So go back to layout mode, click Alt H to uh, to re-enable visibility of <laughs> leaves. And now we want to select one from uh, everyone because uh, because we want uh, the leaves to share the same texture. So basically we'll draw only one time and then we will copy the texture onto the other leaves. So they will have the same UVs and textures. Okay, so I select this one or maybe this one, it doesn't matter. Uh, click Shift H, the same rules. Go to UV editing and now you have, yeah, the leaves. Okay guys, and now we, uh, the leaves are also a bit like pipe shape so we want to split it along uh, one edge so you can select 
any edge and click Alt E, uh, Control E, sorry, Mark Theme. Select all. Uh, yeah, you can see that uh, Blender unwrap it for us uh, at the at the beginning when we we made the shape because uh, yeah, Blender is very very friendly and is it already unwrapped for us the shape. But uh, this is very good unwrapped, I think. But as you can see, there's some green greenish here, which means this part is a bit stretched and you can change that by by moving vertices so they will be blue but we will we won't use the default blender UVs we'll un unwrap it so press U click unwrap and you can see that everything is uh, beautifully unwrapped first I forgot one step uh, go back to object mode for a second click ctrl a and apply the scale because uh, I saw the info that we didn't apply the scale okay so go back to edit mode you can un unwrap it again and you can see that we have uh, a perfect unwrapped UV and now uh, we want to make it to take as much space as we can so we can rotate it and scale it okay I think that this is okay this is okay okay so we, after we've done that, you go back to edit mode, go to modeling, uh, to layout, and click Alt H, so you can see all these again. Okay, so now we know that only this part has what the hell, Alt H, sorry, uh, only this par part uh, has a UV done. So if you select all leaves, we, we can hide the bark for now. If you select all leaves, click A, and we want to select the, the leaf that we unwrap before last, so click shift and left click left click it, and this will be orangish. And now if you click Ctrl L, it will pop the window that it's called make links, and you can basically transfer UV maps from one to another object so basically all those leaves will copy a UV from the orange one that we just made okay so now if you go for example to this one you go, you go to UV editing you can see that it's yeah just it took uh, the UV that we made before yeah so if you Oh, you, we can check double check it yeah you can see that we have the same UVs everywhere okay so now we enable everything also I to deselect everything control S saved so I think uh, we are done with a UV unwrapping and in the next part we will start uh, texturing and I think I will split texturing into two parts, which one will be leaves, which they are very easy. Uh, the bark, which is a bit harder. Yeah, but uh, don't don't worry, I will help you. And uh, yeah, you will have a beautiful tree at the end. I don't know for what, but <laughs> it just look very nice. Okay, so. Uh, uh, yeah just uh, leave comments guys and like and uh, let me know what I have to do uh, not not let me know what I have to do just let me know what you want to see in the next tutorial because I don't have any ideas to make tutorials so if you recommend me some 
tutorials that you want me to make uh, I probably I probably 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 will make them yeah so just let me know in the comments and uh, goodbye for now